Hi, I'm Milt of MF Metal Arts and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a fun video. It's got science, it's got jewelry torches, it's got chemistry, it's got propane bottles, and it's got disposable oxygen bottles. So if that interests you, stick around. So what we're going to be doing today is figuring out how many of these bottles of oxygen, disposable bottles of oxygen, we need when we burn this one bottle of propane in our jewelry torch. And we're going to do that. First, we're going to talk a little bit about the theory, and then we're going to go into talking uh, to doing a little bit of an experiment that shows how many we actually need. So the reason I stuck, got interested in doing this is uh, because when I first bought my little torch, um, I bought it with a disposable um, oxygen bottle set up. And I found I was using a lot of oxygen bottles to one bottle of propane. So many that the cost of running the thing got ridiculous. And uh, I eventually switched to uh, an oxygen-free approach, but we'll save that for another time. Um, but since then, uh, I've heard a lot of, uh, I'll call it misinformation about how many of these it takes to run one of these. And so I thought that what I would do is test it out for myself. The theory says that in order to run your torch on a bottle of propane, you need 20 to 40 bottles of this stuff. So that's my, that's the theory that I want to test. I want to actually test it. And I went out and I bought a few more bottles of these. And we're going to uh, burn all this oxygen and see how much propane it consumed. So if that interests you, stick around. I am now going to set up to run test number one. And what I'm going to do in test number one is I'm going to burn a full canister of oxygen along with propane using my little torch with the number seven tip. And I'm going to weigh the oxygen and propane bottles before and after the test and figure out how much oxygen and propane uh, I used up during the test period. If we weigh that bottle of propane, we get that it weighs 883 grams. So I'm going to write that down, 883. Here's my little torch. I am now going to open up the propane and the oxygen. And light the propane. This is just a little torch. There we go. I'm going to start my timer here. It's just a little torch with a number seven uh, tip. And I'm going to start the oxygen slow. This test took about 30 minutes to run. So I'm just going to show you uh, 30 seconds of what the torch looked like with the number seven tip while uh, burning propane and oxygen for test one. Any oxygen left in there? Oh, there's some. Okay, so we may be able to run for a while here and just finish off the oxygen. Yep, there's a little bit left. Okay, we'll leave it there because it's really, it's about to go away again. And we're going to weigh this. And now the oxygen bottle weighs 650 grams tells me that we use 48 grams so that bottle had way more oxygen in it than advertised the oxygen bottles say that they contain about 40 grams of oxygen but what I found through all four of the tests and all four of the oxygen bottles is there's really 20% more oxygen than the vendor says. So really, we have 48 grams of oxygen in each and every one of these four bottles. Oh. 
We are now on test number three, which is exactly the same as test number two with two differences. We're now burning oxygen bottle number three, and we have the little torch running in a more of an oxidizing environment, in which case we would use a little bit less propane. You can also see in the background a lovely caricature of me teaching at Red Deer College in the summer of 2019, and it was drawn by the amazing Jerry Rasmussen. This test also ran for about 13 minutes, but I've spared you that 13 minutes and only shown you uh, about 30 seconds of it. Just about to the point where we're out of oxygen. Well, I'm back. And after over four hours of setting up and doing all the experimentation and running the four tests, um, I've collected all the data and I've gone off and I have summarized the data in a nice little spreadsheet. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about the spreadsheet now but if you stick around after the end of the video, I'll probably spend five minutes uh, talking through this spreadsheet and a few other little factoids. Um, but for those who don't want that level of detail, uh, I'm gonna give you a high level summary of what I learned and uh, then uh, you can watch till the end or not, up to you. So the main thing that we learned or that I learned was I had originally hypothesized that it would take 40, 20 to 40 of these oxygen bottles to, uh, to support the combustion of one bottle of disposable bottle of propane. And what the uh, tests showed was that in fact, roughly 15 to 30, between 15 and 30 bottles of oxygen are required to burn through one bottle of fuel. Now, why the range is so broad is it depends if you're running your torch in an oxidizing or reducing manner, okay? And the, the, most of the jewelers here will, uh, watching will understand what it means to run uh, an oxidizing or a reducing uh, environment in your torch. Um, and if not, maybe that's a topic for another video in the future. So uh, that, and that, while the numbers weren't identical to the theoretical calculations, they're in the ballpark. And I think that the reason that they don't match the theoretical is the theoretical calculations assume what we call, uh, uh, well, assume that there's 100% combustion efficiency in the torch. And we know that that's not true. That's probably what makes uh, the actual numbers a little bit different from the theoretical numbers. Um, the other thing that we learned was that in each one of these four bottles, there was 20% more fuel than the manufacturer of the bottles uh, guarantees. So with the extra fuel, it also will reduce the amount of, uh, uh, of number of bottles that you need uh, to burn through one of these. So that's a bonus that I certainly didn't count on. Um, so turning that into sort of dollars and cents, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, I paid five whole dollars for this canister of uh, propane and that's in Canada. And I paid $15 for each one of these. So if it takes 30 of these to one of these, that's $450 of oxygen and disposable canisters to burn through $5 worth of propane. And even if you're at the lower end where we calculated 15 bottles, well, it's still $225 of these things to run through one of these. So, so that's it, those are, those are the main conclusions. Um, I'm really glad I did this video because uh, now, now I know what the facts are and we've shown that the science is sound uh, as science usually is and uh, if you want to see more videos like this uh, where I look into jewelry topics and maybe delve into the science and engineering behind some of those topics 
please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And uh, again, my name is Milt Fishbein of MF Metal Arts, and I'm uh, really glad that you stayed till the end of the video. And, um, so I'm going to sort of sign off now, but don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'm then going to spend a little bit of time uh, talking through the details of what I have in some of these documents. Thanks for watching my video. As promised, we're going to talk a little bit about the theory now behind uh, the 40 to 1 number that I talked about. And we're going to go over the results in a little bit more detail. So the first thing we need to talk about is the chemical equation for the combustion of propane, the complete combustion of propane. And chemists and chemical engineers use these kinds of equations to help them understand how much of each component is required for a certain reaction to happen. So C3H8 here is propane and O2 I think we know is oxygen and what the balanced equation and we call that stoichiometry but the balanced stoichiometric equation says is that for every unit, every mole, every unit of propane we need five moles or five units of oxygen. And uh, if we do a little bit of a calculation, that works out to, for every gram of propane burned, we must burn 3.64 grams of oxygen. And again, that's when we have complete combustion, meaning that all of our propane is converted into carbon dioxide and water. And we know that complete combustion is a little bit more difficult to attain. So the reality is, is that in our tests we did not get complete combustion. We got incomplete or partial combustion, but that's okay. Uh, so from that equation and this 3.64 grams of oxygen number, we can calculate that for every 40 gram bottle of uh, oxygen, we need, uh, sorry, for every 454 gram bottle of propane, uh, we need 40 disposable bottles of oxygen. Okay, so we're going to go on now to the next uh, piece. So if we're going to do some experimenting, then we need a hypothesis that we're trying to prove. And already in the last chart, I showed you that we need 40 disposable bottles of oxygen to every canister of propane. But that's when we have complete combustion. So I guesstimated that our combustion might be as low as 50% efficient. Uh, um, so I then extrapolated and said, well, let's say 20 to 40 disposable bottles of oxygen for every bottle of propane. And again, that would depend on uh, how complete our combustion is, whether we're, we're dunning, running an oxidizing or a reducing environment in the torch. And then if we do a little calculation, we work out that um, 20 bottles of oxygen means 1.8 grams of oxygen for every gram of propane, and 40 bottles of oxygen works out to 3.7 grams of oxygen per gram of propane. So the tests were designed to test this hypothesis, not to prove it, but to test it, to make, to test whether it's right or wrong. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move on to uh, what the test results look like. So in this chart, I summarized all the data that I took down during the testing. So for example, in test number one, I used the number seven torch tip on my Smith Little Torch. I weighed the propane canister. Oops. Let's see. I weighed the propane canister uh, when I started, and it weighed 883 grams, and that's a brand new full propane canister. And then when I was done, I weighed it again. When I was done the first test, it weighed 852 grams, so we burned 31 grams 
of propane. And then the brand new oxygen bottle number one weighed 663 grams. At the end of the test run it weighed 615. So 48 grams of propane, of oxygen, were burned. And the ratio between the two is we burned about 1.55 grams of oxygen per gram of uh, fuel, of propane fuel. Okay? And the hypothesis is here. This is what I thought the range would be. Okay? Now, we can do a calculation and that 1.55 works out to 17 and a half bottles, 40 gram bottles of oxygen. Now, we know from doing all the tests that we found closer to 48 grams in every bottle, so it would only be 15 bottles at 48, if there's 48 grams of oxygen in a bottle. And also, the first test, it took 31 minutes for me to burn through the 48 grams of oxygen. So for the next test, I decided to switch to a rosebud tip. And, uh, and by the way, I was running my torch in a more of a reducing environment, a reducing atmosphere, which means more propane would be burned. But when we go to an oxidizing one, which is a sharper, hissy flame, uh, we get closer to 100% uh, efficiency, and then we need far less propane uh, to go with a bottle of oxygen or the other way around far more oxygen for every gram of, pro gram of pro propane. But first I took, uh, for test number two, I took a rosebud tip uh, on, my, on my Smith little torch. And again, I weighed the propane bottle, and it's the same bottle, right? So it's 852 grams at the start. I weighed it at the end, and this time it took 33 grams to burn through 49 grams of oxygen. And the time was only 13 minutes, so the rosebud tip, uh, we can tell, um, uses quite a bit more fuel per minute, about 2 point, I forget what it is, 2 point something times the fuel per minute uh, that a number 7 torch tip uses. Anyways, uh, we ended up here with a ratio of about 1.5, so it's almost the same. And that tells me that in both cases, the rosebud case and the, and the tip number seven case, I was running the same reducing atmosphere. So again, around 1.5, so around 17 bottles of oxygen per bottle of propane. So for the next two tests, I decide, I decide to keep the rosebud tip because it was saving me 20 minutes per test. Uh, and uh, standing around watching a torch burn is not very exciting. Um, so I continued with the rosebud tip, did the same thing. I, I weighed my propane bottle, so now it's down to 819 because it's the same bottle. I weighed my new oxygen bottle before and after and uh, ran the test till the oxygen ran out with the torch now in a very oxidizing uh, condition. So the flame's hissing and it's white, white, white hot. Um, and, th and for that test, uh, I ended up using only 18 grams of propane against my 48 grams of oxygen. So because it's oxidizing, I'm using way more oxygen. And this time, let's call that 2.7 grams of oxygen per gram of propane. It's about 80% more than the reducing flame. And it works out to about 30 bottles uh, if they weigh 40 grams and 48 bottles if they weigh, uh, sorry, 25 bottles if they weigh, they weigh 48 grams. And then I repeated the exact same thing. Test four is identical to test three. Rosebud tip, uh, oxidizing flame, weighed everything, ran the test, and uh, this time it ran a little bit over 13 minutes and got very similar numbers to the last one. And so we're a little bit higher, maybe 2.8 grams of oxygen to gram of propane, which gave me these numbers. So I, if, if I want to say it in very, very round numbers, uh, you know, it's about 15 to 30 bottles of propane 
sorry, bottles of oxygen per single bottle of propane. And again, it's a 454 gram bottle uh, disposable propane. So we are now going to move on to what my final conclusions were. And now for the final conclusions of these tests. From the test results, we calculated that I need 1.5 to 2.8 grams of oxygen per gram of propane versus the hypothesis number of 1.8 to 3.7 grams of oxygen per gram of propane. Translating that to bottles, um, the hypothesis was 20 to 40 bottles of oxygen to one bottle of propane and the reality was, let's just call it 15 to 30, because easier to remember, bottles of oxygen to one bottle of propane. And what makes the biggest difference is how you're operating your torch, whether you're running a reducing or an oxidizing flame. And that has a huge impact. It's roughly an 80% difference uh, on the amount of oxygen required. So when I was running the reducing atmosphere, um, I would need 17 bottles of oxygen to one bottle of propane and if I'm running an oxidizing atmosphere I need 31. So uh, that explains the the range um, and then finally all bottles just a learning all bottles of oxygen at 24 20 percent more oxygen than was guaranteed by the manufacturer Anyhow, that's it. So now you have all the details. Uh, and as I say, I really hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, please, if you did enjoy it, uh, or at, if you did enjoy it and you did learn from it, please, please, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching my video.